Well, hello, hello. God bless you and God keep you. I don't know. In peace, harmony, without war, <laughs> without stress. Uh, nah, that's not going to happen. This is going to be real short so I can upload and then I got to get out of here. Well, <laughs> like Kevin Hart said, it's about to go down. I ain't lying. I, I'm just like, I wish somebody would come up and just tell me. Tell me what's going on with my life. You know, am I to blame? I'm fighting against something. I don't know. But uh, whatever it is, it's about to it's about to come out. Whatever it is, I don't even know. Uh, I'm out here. One thing I'll tell you, some other stuff going on, but I don't know. Like I said, I'm always saying I'm going to take a break, which I don't know. I don't know. I hesitate about going to church tomorrow, but because there's just so much going on, just, just, man, it's like pow, 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 pow. It's just constant. Um, but uh, anyway, I have to put my fence back up. Uh, uh, I had a fence up to separate me and my neighbor, so she started again. So she did something to the dog. I don't know what she did to the dog because the dog stopped barking. You know, I'm dog sitting. And she did something to the people's dog. And so, like I said, oh, you know, I'm done. You can't, you got to be coming on my property when I'm not here. And so, you know, I, I can't take it no more. I cannot take it no more. I'm like, I, I just don't understand. Why? Oh, I don't know. You racist, and I don't understand that. You hate me because of the color of my skin. You hate me because I moved in the neighborhood. I can see if it's been going on a little bit. For three and a half years, and you continually doing stuff, you picking, you pulling up flowers. I have a list of all the things, and I, I had it. So, you know, when the fence is up, everybody knows that we're not beefing. Everybody knows that it's racial. And then she sits back and she looks stupid, trying to look all pitiful and stuff, sitting on the porch. When she used to sit on the porch in the seat, she used to sit in ear hustle on the conversations I had. And then when I was talking to her, she will politely ease into, uh, yeah, and you know how some people do. Well, you know, whatever I had been talking about, she will let me know that she had heard my conversation. That's how much ear hustling she do. I'm living like I'm living in a box. I can't open my windows or anything. Because any window I open, her company can come and, and sit on her deck and they can look at my house. So, like I said, I, I, you know, they say fed up to here, I'm here. I'm here. I'm mad as hell and I ain't taking it no more. Like I said, the videos and, I, like I said, I, done been, I pray. I've been praying. I do praying. I do a lot of things. And I'm like, ain't nothing changed. Being prosperous. Dealing with this job, and I'm like, everything is pal, just problem on problem on problem. And like I said, I'm tired of it. I, I, like I said, I, I, don't, I don't know. I wish I could close my eyes. Well, let me take it back. I'm glad my eyes are open. But when you open your eyes and you see people hating you because of the color of your skin, I don't know if you can feel me on that. I really don't care if you can. Because like I said, I'm at the point where I want to cuss, so that's why this is going to be real short, and I'm going to roll it up, and then I got to get on out here and go to this little raggedy job, and then I pray to God that I find something else or whatever he wants for me, because I'm tired of working for people. Because like I said, I had to look, is it me? Did I do something wrong? No, I didn't do nothing wrong. And what I found out early this morning when they tried to talk to me is basically, hmm, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can't say nothing because some things got to get done. So, yeah. But anyway, I found out a lot of things. And it's not pretty. It's not pretty. But what I want to say is with this job, whatever, you know, whatever pops up at the end, it's not my fault. I'm like, you know, uh, <laughs> y'all know I'm crazy. I got laughed. laugh. <laughs> I got laughed. laugh. I can't help it. I was real serious at first, but then I got laughed laugh. Because I was thinking about, you remember, you know, Rambo, that's my favorite, uh, Sylvester Stallone, that's my dog, I love him, Rocky, but when he was in uh, Rambo and he told dude, he said, when they kept picking on him because he was in the town, they was prejudiced against him because, you know, he, they figured he was looking bummy and they figured they could pick on him because he looked like he was homeless, you know what I'm saying, even though he was a homeless vet, they tried to pick with him and talked about him and stuff, man, that's a powerful picture, if you never watch the picture, you want to get a real powerful spiritual message, and if you, if you love soldiers, 
If you love soldiers that have been to war and fought and died for this country here, America, because I keep on saying the same thing, all American, and that's God speaking some things, but like I said, all American, if you want to look at an all American movie, it got some violence in it, it's not for the kiddies, but if you want to look at an all American movie, I'm talking about real one of the American movies, talking about America somewhat, you know, but talk, a, a vet, if you want to know what a vet goes through, some of the things that the Vietnam vets and some vets, people in the military went through. If you want to see a picture about real life military, but some of the things they went through and the flashbacks that they have, you know what I'm saying? And how they dealing with negativity, hello, negativity, you know, homelessness, uh, 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 no insurance, health insurance, different, uh, no help for uh, mental illness, you know, uh, no benefits to aid them. When you want, if you want, really want to see a movie pertaining to all of that, then please, 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 please watch Rambo. Number one, I think it's two or three, <laughs> but watch one. And he says in there, when they start picking with him because he was just going through the town walking with his little backpack on, and they say to him, oh yeah, you know, they start picking with him and stuff and tell him basically to get out of town. And, you know, like, okay, man, this man been in the Army, he done fought for this country, and you basically going to try to tell him where he can go in America? And he acts out. And one part of it, when he's fighting with, I can't think of your boy's name, um, the big old dude with the blonde hair, he's cool too, but uh, I can't think of his name. Anyway, he tells him, he tells his boss too, and he said, yeah, I didn't do nothing to them. He said, they drew first blood. You know, they drew first blood. He said, I didn't do nothing. I was mad in my own business. And that's like me. I was mad in my own business. I travel too far. I travel too far to be going somewhere and I'm trying to get something started. And I, like I said, I didn't choose to be picked down. That's something. And I still, you know what I'm saying? I'm still asking that, like, what? Why are you messing with me? Of all the people, it's 5,000 people in this company. Why did you choose to mess with me? And then, like I said, every time I try to avoid it, it still keeps coming back. And I, my friend, I was telling him about some, some things that was going on with me. And he sent me the sound about BB and CC Wine talking about. Uh, uh, I can't, uh, whatever. It's a song about uh, don't ever go away. Uh, uh, you care for me or something, and it, you don't do things to people. People do things to you, and I just question God. Like you know why? I, I don't understand. Like I said, because I be. Let me get off of her because I got to get out of her and I got to take her some business because somebody told me they was going to do something. I'm like, I, I swear to God, I swear to God, man, I ain't lying. I just, whoa, you talking about cussing? Man, I mean, I don't understand it. I, I don't understand why so many bad things just keep on happening. And you know what I'm saying? I wish I could say I was crazy. I pray to God, I wish I could, please go, oh God. I wish I could say, oh, yeah, I'm crazy. I'm tripping. You know what I'm saying? I got a mental disease or something because I, I can't even explain it. You know, I'm dealing with a bank and I'm telling them to do one thing and they, oh yeah, I got it, I got it, so now you're putting me in the negative. That's why I was trying to have the meeting down there. I was trying to have a meeting talking about this issue right here, you know, overdraft fees. You know, now you told me one thing, so now I'm in a potential of being overdraft. Now I got to go to work, which takes me two hours to get there, but I got to stop and go back and handle the business before I get an overdraft fee. But then when I was at work and I was praying, I did realize, focus. All this trouble is coming to defocus me because of the program I want to start down there because I didn't get to pass out the papers. I didn't get to do all of them things because every time I turn around, I'm trying to do it. Here's something here. Here's a health issue. Here's somebody talking crazy. And here's this retarded neighbor over here. Three and a half years, you still racial and present. If you don't like me and you don't like the color of my skin, I suggest you close your eyes. Or you keep minding your business, but don't keep picking with me. Don't keep coming on my property. Like I said, if I could, like I said, I always try to avoid things. If I could, I would sell the house. I don't have enough equity and stuff in the house to move because I don't want to be next to her. I don't want to be in the neighborhood no more. So I'm fine with that. So I did everything in me to avoid it. Try to be your friend, but now you want to document and talk about what's going on in everybody's yard because you're on a pilot ship, you feel. You, you want to look in everybody's yard and keep talking about people. I don't set up and gossip with nobody when I'm trying to get along with them. So why would I sit and talk about them so you could go back and run your mouth when you get drunk and get all the beers in because you're sitting on your tail, you don't work. So you're sitting on your butt every day, meddling. And it's not about not working idle hands. It's the devil's workshop. You know, you need to get you some business. Another picture to watch. Uh, come back, little Sheba. 
with Burt Lancaster. Catch that movie. It talks, to, it talks about alcoholism to the fullest. Uh, alcoholism in the 1950s. I was watching that before I stopped drinking. I didn't understand all, but I had seen it way before I stopped drinking. Some years ago, it was a powerful movie. And in the movie, uh, she's married to Burt Lancaster. And the lady tells her, uh, she's always busy. You know, she stopped. She let herself go and everything. You know, it's like in the early 50s. It might be 40s. The 40s or 50s. And his wife, she had let herself go. And uh, she's always running around trying to die something. She's sitting in the house eating bonbons and sitting on the couch and all that type of thing. And uh, so her husband, you know, he goes into one of his drunk bins and he gets ready to beat up and all this type of thing. And, you know, so uh, some, uh, back in the day when you drank, you didn't have all these little programs. You know, I ain't going to get deep into that because that's an outside issue. But anyway, you didn't have it. You had certain people that would come and... Uh, come and help you and they would take you to sanitariums and stuff back in the day when you had alcoholism so we bless highly favored nowadays so anyway they was taking they took him to the sanitarium so she's crying so the neighbor came over next door knowing what she's going through and she was telling us she said oh don't worry about it don't worry about it she said keep busy keep busy and i was like it always stuck out i wonder why she said that too i, ne I never comprehended to <laughs> <laughs> oh, Reverend Boss. I call the man Reverend. But Brother Miles, like he said, I high. You know, and I had one of them uh, high moments. And I was like, yeah. Because when you sit back idle and you keep mad, when you, you don't have nothing to do, especially when you're drinking, you sit back and your mind start entertaining stupid stuff because the devil jumps in and I start telling you, why don't you go pick with somebody? You know, let that racism come up out of you. You've been holding it down and keeping it uh, submerged. So now you got a new black person in the neighborhood, the only black person in the neighborhood. I've got pictures. I'm the only black person. I was the only black person. And now the neighborhood's changing. But, mm, man, I'm talking about racism. I'm talking about real stuff. You know, I didn't realize, like I said, man, I, you know, it, break, it, it breaks my heart. It breaks my heart. But you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I just kick back. I just kick back. I'm so, oh, man, I almost cussed again. Like I said, I got to get out here before I say something. Like I said, but, uh, yeah, I ain't taking it no more. I'm not taking it no more. I done turned my eye, kept manning my own business and everything. But you, you, for you to mess with that dog, you had to be on my property. You know what I'm saying? And I done confronted you about it and everything, and yet you still want to keep on picking. You still want to keep doing stuff because you think, oh, she black, she ain't going to do nothing. But I got a problem with that, baby. You got the wrong one today. And like I said, I, ain't go, I don't need to put my hands on you physically. That's the only reason. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Believe that. Three and a half years? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyway, like I said, God bless you. You have a wonderful, marvelous day. And if you don't hear from me and stuff like that, then I'm trying to figure out what God's got for me, what he's trying to tell me. Because, like I said, I'm tired. Adversity after adversity. Like I said, it's like, you know, I'm like, darn, am I crazy? I mean, what is this? You know what I'm saying? Is this witchcraft? Did somebody put a spell on me or something? You know, why do you want to keep coming at me? You know what I'm saying? I'm on a job, man, in my own business. There is nothing. I ain't did nothing. You know what I'm saying? I ain't did nothing. Man, forget that correct. I don't know. I don't need to do no correct. I can't. But people in Africa don't have to do correcting, which I ain't even from no Africa. I'm American. But, hey, yeah, I ain't did nothing to no bad. I kid you not. I ain't did nothing. I know. I looked back over my record. I can check my record without a doubt. My record is clear. I haven't did nothing to nobody. In the past, I used to pick with people, but now, nah, you know what I'm saying? I ain't did nothing on no job. Even when I drank, anybody will tell you that. I might have, I had maybe 50 jobs, probably more than 50 jobs in my life. I ain't never lived, oh, well, maybe one job, somebody tried to snitch and go back and say, oh, I had beer on my breath or something, and the job wasn't up for like four hours. And that's when, the time when I was homeless. So other than that, I ain't never lost no job over no drinking. You know that, I because I never let nothing interfere with my money. When I'm about my money, drinking, high, whatever, I'm going to get my money. I don't let nothing inter interfere with that. So I'm about it. So this right here, true that. I don't have other jobs. I looked at it. Hey, you talking crazy to me back in the day. Now you talking crazy. It's silly. I'm ready to go. But this right here, I'm trying to stay because right now I've been down. I haven't had money. So I'm trying to get on my feet and I'm trying to do things. I'm trying to build places to help people. And here it is. You coming at me with this. And I've been calling it out. I know it's the devil, but I'm like, God, why you keep letting him have the power to do it when you know I'm trying to do for you? So what am I doing wrong? So I need to, I need to stay busy. 
But at the same time, sometimes you need to get quiet. You get quiet and stay busy at the same time. So like I said, I got to get out from her and I need to shut up. I'm just going to back up for a minute and try to figure out what's going on. You know, did I miss something that you were saying and I misinterpret something? Because I don't know all this stuff is against me. You know, I mean, it, it, it's a lot. Uh, like I said, I'm beyond being pressed. The wine has already been made. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no more pressing in there. The, the diamond and all that's been crushed. Like I said, and I'm sick and tired. I'm sick and tired. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. That's how bad it is right now. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, leave me alone. I don't mess with nobody. I don't mess with nobody. I don't say nothing to her. I don't, I don't even deal with you. You know, I just spoke. Me and my neighbor next door, we spoke. But her, right here, and the old one or two across the street, you know, and really, they kind of try to change a little bit, but it's hard that it keeps it going. And she's right next door, you know. So, like I said, evil, you know, evil. And I'm like, why God keep letting it be her? You know, why you let, why you let it go down like that? I don't understand that. Why you got somebody coming to get me with some racial stuff? I don't understand that. 2017, you know what I'm saying? And you racial. It's racial. You know, I used to look at it now. It ain't no deal. People used to say, she's jealous because you're a woman in the neighbor. Nah, that's not about that. That's not about that. Now, nah, we been there. Uh, you don't pull up people's flowers. You don't throw nuts and stuff in the yard. You know, you don't talk about people's grandbabies. You don't push people's kids to the side. Now, nah, you don't do that. Now, nah, uh uh. That's not, that's not jealousy. That's racism. That's racism. Calling people niggas and stuff like that. Now, nah, uh uh. That's racism. Now, nah. so. Like I said, I wish, man, being around, I'm going to say this and I'm down. Being around her, her doing what she does to me, her picking and harassing me and the things that she's doing, and being on the job, it's, he's not really white. He got something in him. But dealing with that, I have to back up and get away from it because if not, then I'll hate. And if I hate, then my kids will hate. My grandbabies are hate. So I have to, I'm the head right now of, of my family. And so I need to take and figure this out. Because what you are pours out of you and it translates. If I hate and I'm hanging around my grandbabies, then they're going to see that and they're going to hate too. If I'm always talking about I hate white people and white people can't do nothing for me and look how white people treat me, look what white people did, then my grandbabies are going to run around saying that. And they are of age where they can start being prejudiced. So do I want that? And so if I don't back up and stop making these videos for me and see what God is saying and stop I always, every time I look around, I'm, my job situation, my money, you know, why are you keeping me poor? What, what's up with this? Why I keep being broke? Why can't the shoe be on the other foot? What's it this? What, why, I'm not, why am I being punished when they're doing wrong to me? So, I, I haven't even been around my grandbabies. That's how bad it's been. Because I don't want them, I don't want to open my mouth and say the things that want to come out. And believe me, they do come out. And like I said, people talk about talking to yourself. Like I said, I better talk to myself. Janice, don't do it. <laughs> Janice, don't do it. So, God bless you. If I see you again, I see you. If I don't, I don't. Bye-bye.